morning everybody. So today I am on my way over to Kaya's house. I have to replace a uh, post in her back porch that uh, has termite damage. And so I got a new post. I bought some 2x4s to create a dead man to hold the porch up while I remove the post. And uh, I think I brought all the tools I need to get it done. Usually I forget something, so we'll see what happens. And um, it should be a pretty easy job. Uh, famous last words. Val is uh, still not well. She's still passing that dog and she has a, a migraine, so she's home asleep. <laughs> All right, so this is what I need to deal with. I have a post kind of put together a little strange. So I'm going to use some T brackets instead of the L brackets that it should be using. I'm not sure how it's attached at the bottom, if it's attached at all. So I have um, this couple of 2 by 4s I'm going to use to prop up a little and uh, see what's uh, holding it in the bottom. Alright, so I just used a 2 by 4 as a dead man. It's, uh, it's doing the trick. Just had to make sure it was uh, nice and level. So uh, what was holding it to the ground was just a simple spike to keep it from shifting which is fine. Uh, there does not seem to be termite damage in the top. I'm going to paint that however to make sure it's got coverage. And uh, so I've cut my post to length. I drilled a hole in the bottom. I have a metal piece that's going to go over it. That's uh, going to again help uh, keep the uh, critters out. I didn't use pressure treated because pressure treated really isn't very good for this application visually because it's got tractor marks on it and it's not well finished so uh, we're just going to treat this as um, uh, very well make sure we no longer have uh, uh, critters coming in they were coming in through the grass obviously and what they would do is build a little tunnel by putting sand on top creating their own barrier climbing in through the bottom so we'll try and avoid that okay so there it is replaced it I put a um, galvanized steel plate on the bottom it's pegged in at the bottom I've got a screw in at the top plus it's got a t-bar holding it on it's not going anywhere Pretty solid. It's level and plumb and uh, ready to go. And uh, I'm overheating. It's too hot out here for me, for someone getting up in eight years like I am. So getting a little dizzy every now and then. Have to stop and slow down. So, but I'm done here. I just got to clean up a couple of things and uh, go home, see how Val's doing. Okay guys, so that's it for today. I know it's another short one. We have a big day tomorrow. It's going to be a really long one. And Val really needed her beauty rest. Or the animals needed a place to sleep. I don't know what it, which one it is. But she's still out. She passed one stone this morning. She thinks she says another one. But she's going to the, tomorrow come heck or high water. So... Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Uh, go ahead and give it a share. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye.